Hi everybody and welcome back to Ryan Bolton's Cards and today we have a package from Panini and since we're still since we did 91 tops yesterday or the other day we're going to do uh, 91 uh, studio there's a Jeff Bagwell rookie in here first year that they did studio from baseball I guess you get uh, puzzle cards in here too but these are pretty cool looking cards 92 is also a really good year for studio I like 92 is a lot 92 actually has some good inserts too but here we go. With this, I got a panini box. I was lucky enough to find this laying on my laying on the on the ground by my the front of the house. The guy, the UPS guy, whoever just just th happened to throw it at, like five five feet from the gate. Doesn't even bother to walk up to the up to the door and put it by the front door. The UPS guy's been doing that a lot, especially with uh, other packages that we get. Uh, it seems like the post off the postman he actually comes up to the door and puts it on the on the front door when the UPS guy or Amazon guy whoever does they just put it like literally right next to the front gate so anybody that's walking down the side could just open up the gate and, and grab the package without even stepping a foot inside the the yard but luckily I was able to see this and it's like 11:30 at night when I got home from work so enough of that so let's get into this see what this is i have my ideas what this might be but never know because i think i'm expecting a couple items from panini so let's uh get into this so, so sit back relax crack open that beer pour yourself a cup of coffee tea or whatever you like to drink and watch the video so here we go this is from panini it's in a con uh, container it looks like a box okay I'm hoping this is the only one that they dropped off. Like I said, uh, and it's very windy, so I'm surprised this was even still in the same spot. But I like how Panini actually is uh, shipping this out. I mean, very safe, very secure. There's one card in there. One, let's see who this one can be. Let's swank at it together. So let's see who this is. Oh, it's the Aaron Judge Rick, uh, autograph. The classify this is from, from the 2020 Donruss. This is the one I was waiting for. This is one I was thinking it was. I like the box. I, might, I, can, I can use that box to, to ship things in. So there we go. Aaron Judge autograph that I got out of my box of 2020 Donruss. You can check out the video. I also pulled um, a Mookie Betts relic. I believe uh, uh, Jordan Alvarez whammy card too, which is pretty exciting. actually no longer have that one. That one finally sold just last month. There we have it. A nice Aaron Jones, Aaron Judge autograph. I mean, I'm still not sold on him yet. Too many injuries. He had really the one good year. Maybe last year was okay, but he had so far a lot of injuries. Still not sold on the guy. But he's also on a, on a bad. He's also on a team I do not like, the Yankees. Well, this pack is like open here. Seems like all these packs of this are like cut, but I don't think that's. I think that might be manufactured because of how old it is. Because you saw it, it was wrapped in the leaf guard. It wasn't like somebody else put wrapping on it. So. Alright, well, let's get into it. Check it out. Please uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Finally hit a little bit over 100 subscribers now. So we're getting up there. Let's keep it up, guys, so I can get into the into the uh, Frank Thomas no-name hunt. Okay, so here we go. There's studio. This is what the front look like. Here's what the back looks like. I like how it says there's some personal information, the career, 
their hobbies and interests and their heroes. His heroes, Magic Johnson and Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's Matt Williams, Mike Scott, Andy Van Slyke, Ben McDonald with the flat top, Barry Larkin, Roger McDowell, and Dave Steed. Actually, not a bad pack. Got some stars in it. Now, like I said, the only really big card in here is a Jeff Bagwell rookie. Not including all the other high high favorites like Jack McDowell, Devon White, Kevin McReynolds, there's a John Smoltz. Shane Mack with the pose. Don Manning without the mustache. Trying to look all sexy there. And then got Greg Stilwell. Got Sanderson and Mo Vaughn. That Mo Vaughn used to be a popular card back in 91, 92. Ten cards per pack. I don't know how many packs there are. We got the puzzle pieces of I think it's, they say it's Rod Carew. There's Darren Dalton, Roberto Alomar, Gary Carter, Pedro Guerrero, Andre Dawson, Julio Franco, Ken Caminiti. That was another good pack with a lot of stars in that. And big names. Puzzle pieces. And got a timeless sort of checklist. Brett Butler looking all happy there. Looks like he's got braces on. Bernard Gilkey, Vince, card behind here. Sean Barboski, Vince Coleman, Mike Benjamin, Greg Biggio, Bobby Bonilla, Chris Hollins, and Travis Flyman. Yeah, like a lot of these cards are good because it's a smaller set, so they don't put too much of the common players in. They put some more of the the stars and and uh, and favorites of of some of the teams, so this they don't get nobody's like in some of the bigger sets. So you got Jose Canseco, Jim Abbott, Kenny Mononato. I mean, they also put some nobodies in, but at the time they weren't considered nobodies. Glenn Allen Hill, Steve Howell, Ron Gant. Ricky Henderson, Tony Fernandez. I think what is a three hundred card set? I can't remember offhand. There's Eric Davis, Lenny Dykstra, Tom Candiotti, Oral Hershiser, the Bulldog. Rex Hudler, Roger Clemens looking mean there, with the with the young looking face too. I'm not even going to mention that. Charlie Huff. I don't think I've ever opened up a box of this before. Darren Dalton, Roberto Alomar, Gary Carter, Pedro Guerrero. Looks like they come in a lot of runs. Andre Dawson, Julio Franco, Ken Caminiti, and then Doug Drabeck, Tom Glavin, and D. Lionel D. Shields.
Lou Whitaker, Bob Welsh, Frank Tanana, David Stewart, Benito Santiago, who got a flat top there too. Chris Sabo without glasses. Phil Plantier, all oh, that was this one was a huge card back in ninety one. Brian McGray, same to him. Two rookies right there. We got Tino Martinez and Paul O'Neill. That was a good pack there. That one would have been huge back in ninety one. Just with the Phil Plantier alone. Brett Butler again, Gilkey, Coleman, Benjamin, Biggio, Bonilla, Hollins, Travis Fryman, and Ricky Henderson. So looking for Jeff Bagel. Let's see how many Jeff Bagels we can get in, in here since the runs do come frequently, it looks like. Harold Reynolds, there's a Frank Thomas with his flat top. It's curly front top. And a nice curry pocket. Tina Martinez again. Paul O'Neill. Terry Mulholland. Devon White. Daryl Strawberry. And Todd Zeal. It's another really good pack. Like I said, there's they don't put too many commons in this sit in this sit. Since it's a smaller set. Eric, Eric Anthony J. Bell, Sid Bream, Oil Can Boyd, Andy Bennett, Rob Dibble, Wes Chamberlain, Joe Carter, who I think his cards are still uh, underrated, Ray Lankford, and Sean Dunstan. You got the big unit, Randy Johnson. Jose Lead, Terry Pendleton, Marquise Grissom, Dip Roberts, Lance Parrish, Greg Vaughn, Ruben Sierra, Mark Witten, and Steve Sachs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully it brings up guys back from the past. Like I said, I've never opened a, up a box, opened up a few packs here and there over maybe the last few years, but nothing really back in the day other than 92. Studio, I buy a lot of that at Target. <laughs> There's David Justice, Kirby Puckett. Or actually, my mom would buy a lot of those packs for, in uh, Studio 92 at Target. John Smiley, who's not smiling. Paul O'Neill. Eric Snow, Mark Lewis, Edgar Martinez, not smiling, and a Frank Tanana again. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their, uh, probably by the time you watch it, is Saturday morning. Because it's Friday, it's pretty much the end of Friday thir the 13th. There's Chris Sabo again with no uh, glasses. And they got the studio logo. The studio set. This is probably just a, a cover because there's no number on here. That's still pretty cool. Jose Offerman. Mark Grace. Howard Johnson. Kevin Mitchell. Daryl Kyle. Don Slott. And Cal Ripken Jr. I wonder, if, I wonder if I get a set out of, out of here. Probably not. There's a lot of... Probably get a lot of doubles. But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try. If not, no big deal. Kurt Stilwell. Billy Hatcher. Ruben Sierra. Brett Saberhagen. Kyle Ripken Jr. again. Mickey Morandini. Ryan Sandberg. Nolan Ryan. Great last name. And Kurt Schilling. That was a good pack there. 
on to the next one and beyond. Yeah, Ricky Henderson, Ricky Jordan, Kelly Gerber, Sandy Alomar, Ellis Burks, George Brett. There's the Ken Griffey Jr. Kelly Young. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Nice looking Ken Griffey Jr. Scott Fletcher and Scott Erickson. Chris Hammond. I got another timing list sort of checklist. Brett Butler again. Bernard Gildsky. Coleman. Benjamin. Biggio. Bonilla. And Hollins. Alrighty. Yeah, it looks like a lot of them come in the same runs. I, I've noticed a few maybe off here and there, but it looks like there's a lot of the same runs. There's Doug Drabeck. Tom Glavin, D. Shield, there's Tony Gwynn. Shout out to Hollis, who likes Tony Gwynn. Jimmy Reese. See, Fear. John Franco. Eddie Murray, Wade Boggs, Alan Davis, it's Barry Bonds, look at his curly hair, back in 91, Moises Alou, Chuck Finley, look at his mullet. My brother's actually growing out a mullet right now as we speak. Hopefully his might look like that. I'm going to pull that card to the side so I can show my brother. So he can maybe get his mullet looking like that. He's just doing it for fun. He was he was trying to do the Ace Ventura look at first, but he just got too long. So he just kind of cut it into a, a little mullet. It's not as long as that yet. There's Jose Canseco. Jim Abbott, Kenny Maninaro, Glenn Hill, Ron Gant, right. and I did get this one again. I got, to, I got this one at Cardboard Legends. So here's all the information. If you want to pause that real quick and write down the information, I'll wait for a second or two. Alrighty. Guy does a lot of good stuff for me. It hooks me up a lot. Tim Raines. Mark McGuire. You can see his freckles on his face. Black and Decker, huh? Tim Wallach, Devon White, John Smoltz again, Shane Mack. So far, no uh, Jeff Bagel, but I'm sure we'll, we'll hit him eventually. Juan Samuel, Ozzy Smith, The Wizard, Jeff Rudin, Brett Saberhagen. Harold Reynolds, here's the Frank Thomas again, Kirby Puckett, Mark McGuire, Mark Langston. Terry Mulholland, Devon White, Daryl Strawberry, Todd Zeal, Bob O'Hare, Lee Smith, 
Todd Van Poppel. There's a big card right there. It was his rookie card. This, but this is a huge card too back in '91. It's also his rookie. Marquise Grissom, second year card. Yeah, Marquise Grissom, Larry Walker, and DeLandy Shields were the three big guys for the Expos back in the day. Tony Gwynn. John Burkett, Greg Hibbard, and Greg Gagne. I'd say we're almost half a box. I like the box out. It's all black and so it's black inside too. It's really cool looking. And gold. There's Kurt Gibson. And Johnson. Greg Vaughn and Ruben Sierra. I've seen a lot of the same cards now, maybe here and there, maybe one here and there that we haven't seen, but we're pretty much seeing all the same cards. Here's Ricky Jordan. Sandy Alomar. Ellis Burks. George Brett. Another Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. And Sparky Anderson checklist card as a manager. That's the first time seeing that one. There's some new guy. Alex Fernandez is his rookie card. Rick Aguilar, Dwight Evans, Rob Deere. Dennis Eckersley, Brett Braylevin, Paul Mulliter, and Brooke Jacoby. There's a few there that we haven't seen almost that whole pack. We got David Justice again, Tim Raines, Kent Herbeck, Greg Olson, Mickey Tuttleton. Eric Snow, Matt Williams. So we got a few of those that we haven't seen. Looks like they're starting to split up some of the runs here and there. There you go, pop that bubble. Kurt Gibson, Ben McDonald. There's, the, there's a different studio logo. Do studio says that, or is that the same one? And looks different than maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying there's Jose Offerman, Mo Vaughn, Jack Morris, Ozzy Smith, and Daryl Kyle. Alan Trammell, first time seeing him. Todd Van Poppel again. Dale Murphy, first time seeing him. Mookie Wilson, Doug Jones, Kevin Moss. A huge card back then. Tony Pena, Mark Rizonic, or Mark uh, Gerbeck. I don't know. Edgar Martinez, and then Sammy Sosa. First time seeing some of those. Still haven't seen the bag. Well, but Sosa has some wacky hair going on here. Look at that. That wacky hair. And Pete Harnish. We haven't seen him yet. Hopefully made. There's Larkin again. Steve Finley. Lou Whitaker. Ruben Sierra. Brett Saberhagen. And Kyle Rupkin again. Still haven't seen Bagwell yet. Third Cal Rifkin, though. But some of those cards we also didn't see either. John Smiley, Jeff Treadway, Wally Joyner, Matt Williams, Tony La Russa, checklist, who just signed back with the White Sox, who just got a DUI not that long ago. 
BJ Suroff, Dave Magadin. So there's a few more names we haven't seen. Sparky Anderson, Ramon Martinez, haven't seen him yet, Gary Gaetti, Ron Robinson, Rich Gossage, Goose, Eric Anthony, Jay Bell, Sid Bream, Oil Can, and Andy Bennett. So a mixture of cards there from what we have and what we have not seen. Another Ramon Martinez, Gary Gaetti. You just pretty much saw a lot of these cards in the last pack. Pretty much verbatim. And Rob Dibbles, one that we haven't seen. Even though we have seen it in another pack, but I'm just saying that was the one that seemed different from the last pack. And uh, Roberto Kelly, first time seeing him. Mike Greenwell, same thing. Storm Davis, Brian Holman, Tom Browning, Darren Dalton, Roberto Alomar, Gary Gaetti, Pedro Guerrero, and Andre Dawson. So half and half there. I even like the color of the wrapper still, the black and gold. Looks nice. There's a new, new person we haven't seen, Franklin Stubbs. Rafa Pomero, Mark Lewis, John Smoltz, Benito Santiago, Chris Sabo, and there's the studio logo again, and Jose Offerman. Still no Bagwell. John Burkett, Greg Hibbert, Greg Gagne, Sam Horn. Bill Gil Gilderson, Rick Honeycutt, George Bell, Daryl Boston, Dave Anderson, and Jeff Bagwell. We got him. We hit it. We hit the Bagwell rookie. Last card in the pack. There's a lot of names that we haven't seen in that pack either. Last card guard of that stack, too. I gotta throw, gotta throw away my card guards box there. So we got a bag wall. Open up, open up a new uh, card guard box or top loaders. I like how they smell. They smell nice and fresh. So put that over there. It's got a fresh box of top loaders. Oh, could we get another bag wheel? Yes, we do. Nice. There's Jack Clark, Jeff Conine, rookie, Ken Griffey Sr. There's three cards we haven't seen. And I saw the same run. I was like, oh, can we get another bagwell? This time, this one's more in the middle. This one looks like it has a better corners than that one did. Did look like one of the top corners was soft on that one. From being in the back. Luckily, it had the the um, puzzle piece behind it. And then that one is more in the middle, so that one's good. Got two bagwells. And I do PC bagwell too. By the way, okay, PC Ken Griffey Jr., Frank, uh, Mark McGuire, Jeff Bagwell. Those are just some of the players that are not Dodgers and White Sox players who I PC. Travis Fryman. So pretty much we're probably going to see all the same cards now. I think we've pretty much seen almost every card in the set. Griffey.
think we've only seen one Frank Thomas, I think, so far. We like to get another Frank Thomas. That way, if I do decide to put together this set, I have one for the set and one for my PC. Greg Vaughn, Raven Sierra, Mike Whitten, Steve Sachs, Don Mattingly, Tim Raines, and Kent Herbeck. Let's see. Let's double check. So, there's a Griffey. There's another Griffey. There's Frank Thomas. There's a couple Maguires. There's another Griffey. Okay, good. There is at least two Frank Thomases. So far, I've got two Maguires, three Griffeys. of the packs there's all the packs left like I said here's what the box looks like on the outside like the gold and black and then inside there's the black lid again and the black inside except for the bottom is white but it makes it look cooler I guess it makes it more look professional or or like a premier kind of kind of card. The studio is supposed to be meant to be nice. That's why they call it the studio. Dave Rigetti, Bob Thigpen. A couple names we haven't seen yet. David Segui. Joe Girardi. Trent Ward. There's a few names there we still haven't seen yet. I wish Eric Carroll's was in this set. It would have been nice. Been nice another rookie for him. He's not. Jack Clark this one's upside down. Brian B Baines. I haven't seen him yet either. Carlton Fisk. I haven't seen him yet. I haven't seen any, some of these guys. Lou, Louis Gonzalez. Cecil Fielder. Dave Henderson. Lance Stickerson. That's his rookie card. I haven't seen some of those. There's still some guys out there we haven't seen yet. Mark Grace, Howard Johnson, Kevin Mitchell, Daryl Kyle, another Cal Rickens, his fourth one, Alan Tramble, Todd Van Poppel, and Dale Murphy. Poppel rookie again. Now, there's some rookies that were pretty big back when this stuff came out that now only one that, that still books anything is, is Jeff Bagwell David Justice Tim Raines Tim Rock Raines Frank Viola No inserts in this set. 92 had some nice inserts. Mike Socia, the first time seeing him. Dave Winfield, Robin Yount, Bobby Witt, Sr., Steve Finley, Mike Lavalde, Kevin, Kevin Mann, Andres Galarraga. Almost that whole pack we didn't see. John Franco, Jay Bell. This one's all which way in this one. Wow. This one's all wacky. Dalton. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I don't know them. Usually like that they're all one one way. That one was every direction. Hopefully you guys are liking this. Check out my eBay page also at GoPacker79. Mickey Mordain and Sandberg. This was a super hot card back, like I said, back in the day. Phil Plantier. 
So it was him. He was supposed to be the next big thing, especially with the Yankees. Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry and Matt Williams. I remember when I when I was in junior high, my friend, he had one of the thick, thick Beckett books. And I'm like, oh, I want to check out the prices. And I didn't really know much about cards and how to really identify what year and brand really at the time. I'm more so the year. So, so I was going through that book. And for some reason, like Don Russ, that one threw me off like so much was like, the early it was like 88, 89, 90, 91. All those threw me off because on the back it says Leaf. And I'm like, but they look like Donruss. This, and I'm like, why does this say Donruss and Leaf? And I didn't know which ones they were and I didn't know what year. There's, it, it kind of threw me off. So I thought the, the Donruss cards were fake cards for like the longest time. But anyways, I used to look up and I, when I had an upper deck Phil Plantier rookie card, I saw it was like three seventy five in this book. I was like, wow. And I had two of them. I was like so stoked. It was Juan Gonzalez and Willie Randolph. We haven't seen those yet. Chris James, Tim Leary, Steve Avery. Like he was another like hot card. His rookie was an 89. Colin Fisk again. And Cecil Fielder. So there you go, guys. There's the end of the box. Again, uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Just comment if you like. Let me know what what you what you liked about the set or if you want. Um, we got two Jeff Babel rookie cards. So that's nice. My guess is we probably got a set here. If not, maybe missing just maybe a few cards. But I'm pretty sure you might have a set. Um, check out my eBay page at GoPacker79. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, like I said, please help my my channel by subscribing and tell your friends to subscribe. Uh, until next time, have a great morning, evening, afternoon, night, and anytime you decide to watch it. Until next time, have a great one. Bye.